Hey students, uh, this is Mr. Anderson. I'm going over some work here, um, and I made a major faux pas when I did one of the videos uh, for Chapter 5. In fact, I think it's the only video for Chapter 5, where somebody asked me to do um, P5-4. Uh, what I did was I drew the isometric pictorial, and I also drew what I intended to be a cabinet oblique, but it was a cavalier oblique, uh, so please forgive me. The big difference between the two is that uh, the cabinet oblique, uh, when it comes to the, the depth of the drawing, the dimensions are cut in half, okay? So instead of it being uh, like this would be, well, let me just draw one. Come on, let's, let's draw this all fun and games. Okay. Yeah, let's see, it's going to be 3.25, so I'm just going to start here, and go 3.25, and then the, um, let's see, it is at 45 degrees and going back, so this one would be, okay, instead of the distance of 1, it would actually be 0.5. And let me hit the uh, tab key and get the 45 degree angle. Okay. Now, the height's going to be the same. So, 0.5. And I can then copy. So, copy there. And copy there. Just for fun. And then I can uh, take this and this and copy those right above it to that spot right there. And let's see, I need to go up on this side, which that's going to be a total of 1.5. So I just need to bring this one up. Or actually, I'll just make another line and go 1. And... Let's see, I'm going to offset that at 50, or 0.5, and then use my fillet command with a zero radius, so that way that happens like that. This line gets to go up at uh, 45. And it is, what distance is that? That's 1.5. But it's going to be half that, so it's going to be 0.75. Okay. So now we can draw that back line over. It says 3, but we have the uh, half inch, so it's going to be 2.5. And then I can just go down to there, and that's the corner that we won't see. And then on the back side, I get to bring that up 150. I think I messed up on this then. Because that should be... Yeah, I did mess up on that. So let's just copy that to back here. And I'm going to bring that down to halfway. And this one should be the same. So that should just be one. And then 0.75 should be 0.375. Gotta do a lot of math in your noggin. So, let's see, 0.375, and then the angle is going to be 135. Bring that down, and then we can 
Copy those over. And then draw our line there. And then we can copy that two times to there and there. Okay. And then we, we draw this guy, the hole. So that's 75 over. So it would actually be uh, 0.25 for this guy. So I'm going to offset that. Actually, I need to hit offset first. Tell it 0.25. And nope, nope. We don't offset, we move because it moves at a different rate. So I'm just going to go over to this line and just point, hit 0.25. And then it's going to be another, what is that? It's making me math. I hate this. <laughs> We can offset or move this one. Uh, let's see. We have to copy that. Instead of 0.25, it's going to be 0.125. And then it is another inch, so it's going to be another 0.5. Okay. It's not looking right on that part, though. What did I do wrong? Hmm. Okay, I figured it out. <laughs> okay, uh, I didn't put this line in the right spot. I didn't take it back far enough. So I'm going to copy this guy, and it's going to be one, let's see, it's one inch, so it's going to be 0.5. And that's where that should be, right there. Okay, that looks much better. Oops, I didn't hit enter. Okay, now we have to do this distance right here, which is two inches from here. So I'm just going to copy this one over two inches to right there, and then Use the fillet command. Uh, again, correctly. Okay. Now, there we go. I don't think we need to show... Let me see if that's going to be far enough down. Negative. We won't see the hole. We're just going to see that much right there. So, that is our cabinet oblique. Okay. Whew. Okay, so next we're going to draw the uh, isometric. Okay, so I'm just going to start right here. And we're going to go at 30. <laughs> and 1.5. No. I'm not going to go 1.5, I'm going to go 1. And... Point 0.5. And... Let's see... 30... 39, that's going to be 150, yeah, 150, right? No, 160. No, 
150. And the length is 3.25. Now, is that really 3.25? Why, yes, it is. So now we select these guys, and we copy those up. Close that guy off. Next, we're just going to go straight up. The height of one, and then we're going to go 1.5 this way. Let's see. Now this guy. We're going to copy this guy, this inside here, to 0.5. And in the back line, we're going to bring it up. One, since we're at the top of that. And then it's going to come straight down for 75, or back this way, at 75, or 0.75. So that's going to be 0.75. There we go. And then that. So now we can copy this, and this, and this. right here I know some of these lines I'm not going to need these guys on the inside but they do help me get things going uh oh okay Time to undo. Is that, 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 and that, and that is not correct. And I need to get that guy out of there because that's going to mess me up again. So, let's try this again. See, even the teacher messes up. Sometimes more often than I care to admit. And I hope you guys forgive me for that. We're all human. I try to be uh, as understanding as possible. So let's just copy this guy down. Okay. And we can draw this guy in. Now that line is going to come out two and a half. And this guy here. Okay, and then all that's left is the hole in the middle. So, we're going to copy this guy. And that's going to come over 0.25. And then the next one's going to come over 2.5. 
two. Yeah. Okay, so there's that part. Now we're going to do this line, and that is 0.25. I hover over top of the corners because it'll click there. It'll it'll latch onto that spot. I know some of you may have been wondering, why do you pull that way up there? And then the top one is going to be one, one more. Well, no, point one two five. Or one point two five. There we go. Now fill it. Okay, now there we go, and then our last thing to do is to copy that down, that distance right there, draw our line from there to there, and then we can select those two, hit trim, and there we go. So, when you uh, put this on your sheet, if you just double-click your mouse, and let's see if it, does it fit it one-to-one? -one? It will fit it one-to-one. -one. I just need to move it over a little bit. Let me do that. But typically, an isometric drawing is not scaled, okay? Even if the book says scale it at 80%, you know what, uh, what you're going to do, of course, you're going to put the assignment number there. But uh, for scale, and this is going to be about the only chat Chapter 5 and 6 are going to be the only chapter I allow this in. You're going to put three letters, N, T, S, which means not to scale, Okay. Especially this one. This one's not to scale because it only goes halfway back. Okay? So, that's how these should be done. All right? And I uh, want to thank the student who brought that to my attention when he saw the video. And he's like, yo, dude, you screwed up, man. <laughs> not in those words. But, you know, I could, I could tell from the email. It's like, and I'm like, whoa, dude, you're right. I did screw up, man. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> So this is why we get a new uh, new video showing the difference in the uh, cabinet oblique and the isometric pictorial. Okay? So let me know if you have any questions. And again, uh, sorry for sending out faulty information. If you've already done this video or you've already done this assignment uh, or the two assignments in Chapter 5, um, I've probably already graded them and graded them as correct. So no worries. You don't have to redo it, okay? But I am going to be removing the old video and putting this one up in its place. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. And again, thank you very much for your understanding. Oh, and I did forget one thing in this one. It's, uh... <laughs> Come on now, activate. I did not put this line coming down. <laughs> that looks a lot better. Okay. I'm glad I noticed that. Alrighty, guys. Uh, and I think, again, thank you very much for your time. Uh, good luck. Bye-bye.